What is going on guys? It's Chris Leo here with the leading agent team at Status 5 Studio and today I thought I would share with you a little bit of input um, that I've been getting about a couple of articles I recently wrote on our blog. You see, uh, a couple weeks ago I wrote a blog article talking about the difference between having a logo and having a brand and how sometimes realtors mix those up. and. It, it got a lot of traction um, and a lot of people commented on it and uh, more recently I wrote another article uh, that uh, touched on a story that an agent came into our agency here and, and more or less basically they wanted to kind of do this me too thing where they were biting off of something that was already established and popular. In this particular case it happened to be a realtor named Ken DeLeon and this realtor wanted to be the next Ken DeLeon which Ken's a monstrous agent, does a ton of business, I totally get it, but it makes no sense. Um, you never want to be the next anything. I, I know a lot of people call it that, that Me Too phenomenon. I actually call it the Uber phenomenon. I've got tons of friends in tech and lots of app developers, and one of the traps I always see is we get to talking about stuff and they've got this thing, they want to leave whatever uh, tech corporation they work for and start their own thing, and they've got this one idea. They say, you know, we're going to be the Uber of whatever, fill in the blank. You don't want to be the next Me Too thing that doesn't bring anything else to the table. You know, you, you want to be unique, you want to have a value proposition, and, and you want to remember there's nobody out there like you. You know, the actor Jackie Chan said it uh, best. He, he said one time he doesn't want to be the next Bruce Lee, he wants to be the first Jackie Chan. And whether or not you like his silly movies or, or you know, whatever your personal views are on the guy, it's really insightful. You, you aren't going into this business of real estate to be just like every other guy. There, the fact is, is there's not just one type of homeowner. There's all different types of homeowners out there with all different types of personalities. And so what you really want to do is you want to be the best you that you can be because it's a personal business and you're going to draw bonds with people as you start nurturing leads and you're going to build relationships. And at the end of the day, that's why people are hiring you. You can't put on some facade and trick them to think that you're something else. Like you're the, you know, in, in my last example, the, the next Ken DeLeon, or we're going to be the, the next Zillow, or we're going to be the online version of Intero. I, I don't know, fill in the blanks. You don't want to do any of that stuff. What you want to do is you want to build your brand. And so between those two articles, it got really interesting as far as uh, comments I was getting from people online and questions. Um, lots of people like the concept, but they really wanted to know specifically, you know, how do I go about setting up that brand and getting that established and getting it started? So today I thought I'd just share three quick things that you can do to get your brand going and, and start brainstorming um, and getting it where it needs to be. So number one, the most important thing that you need to think about is what are your specific differentiating factors compared to other agents in your marketplace. One really good way to start is just by gathering intel. Uh, if you're doing geographic farming, um, no doubt you've built relationships with some homeowners in the area or maybe you live in the farm area um, or you just know some you know, friends or whatever. Start collecting information. Find out what other agents are sending out, how they're marketing themselves. Do a little bit of research online. Um, find out who's doing the deals in your, your marketplace. And really then start to research them online. Stock them on Facebook. Look at their website. See what their blog posts are like. Uh, if they're putting up videos. Try to find uh, marketing that they've done for their listings. Basically what you want to do is you want to make a checklist of everything they're doing not because you want to be a me too and say, oh yeah, I do that also. What you want to do is you want to know exactly everything they are doing because then you know what they are not doing. And specifically what they are, the things that they are not doing that fit well with your business model, your beliefs, the way that you conduct uh, yourself. So in other words, truly the differentiating factors between you and the other guys. If you take the top, say, two or three agents in your marketplace and you're able to construct a, uh, a checklist like this, what you have now is the makings of what makes you different. 
Um, obviously, when you sit down at a listing appointment, one of the first things that any homeowner would ask you is what makes you different than, and they're gonna, they're not gonna say all the other realtors that wanna sell my home, they're gonna say the two or three top agents in the area or the two or three that are just the most visible. So, one, it'll help you with that because now immediately you know how to, uh, to succinctly and, and, uh, and, and beautifully answer that question. But the other thing is that's really the makings of your brand. You know, who are you? What makes you different? Um, what makes you tick? So, so start there and uh, really, really dig deep because that's the basis for starting your brand. So with step number two, you're gonna take what you've learned in step number one and you're gonna learn how to effectively use it in the eyes of a homeowner. So here's the deal. As humans, we're all a little bit selfish. So you can you could pinpoint all the best differentiating factors in the world, but the fact is is that as humans, for instance, if what your what your value proposition is and your differentiating factors, if it's not clear to me how it's going to benefit me, your message is it's going to hit me, but it's going to be a little bit lost on me. And that, and that's just because by nature we're all a little selfish and greedy. It's just it's just being human. So what you really need to do is once you have those differentiating factors, you need to really think about specifically how those things are gonna benefit a homeowner. Um, so it could be, who knows, maybe uh, you're gonna get a higher price for their home um, or you can sell a home quicker. Or you have expert uh, listing preparation skills for, I don't know, say homes that are a little dilapidated. I, I, I don't know, obviously, you know, everybody's different. so. You're going to need to sit down and you're really going to need to drill down a little, but specifically look at what is in it for the homeowner. The worst thing that you can do when you're looking at uh, what your value proposition is, is you can fall into this trap, I'm in the top 1% of X, Y, and Z, or I'm in the President Elite's gold fill in the blank crystal diamond club. Here's the situation. Unfortunately, because there's some bad apples out there that just put some of these things on their uh, postcard pieces and they just assume nobody's gonna be able to verify it, these things kind of mean nothing. For instance, I can tell you absolutely with certainty, there are so many agents out there that are putting their the top 1% of X, Y, and Z. Statistically, it's impossible. And the reason they can get away with this is because homeowners don't really understand it. They're just like, oh, he must be popular. He's, you know, a successful agent. Look at his percentage in the nation. And, and so they get away with it. The other thing is, is these, you know, diamond clubs and this and that. Homeowners don't know what it is. And so you're, at this point, you've kind of passed this whole concept of what's in it for the homeowner. And you're just kind of doing a, this thing and patting yourself on the back. And they're not going to respond to it. So drill down and really think hard you know how can your differentiating factors specifically help the homeowner and and those are going to be the building blocks of the brand um, not only how you conduct yourself like in a listing appointment let's say but the messaging that your marketing pieces are going to uh, give every single time you send them out you, you want this consistent message and finally the third step it's how you're gonna do it. So what you really need to do is you need to sit down with pen to paper and you need to put a plan together. One of the requirements of something being a brand is that it has public credibility. And real estate agents, building a brand is a little different obviously than building say like uh, Nike or uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, but it's still the same concept. So as an agent, what you want to do is you want to give your brand credibility. The best and easiest way to give your brand credibility is to be consistent and concise with your messaging. So you have to come up with a plan where on a day-to-day -day basis, no matter what it is you're doing, whether you're doing marketing pieces, you're writing a blog article, you're door knocking in the neighborhood, you're going to listing appointments, you're doing video interviews with maybe say the local news or, or maybe your own uh, YouTube channel. You want to make sure that that message is coherent, concise, and overall consistent, no matter what consistent. Because what happens is, is if people see this over time, it starts to get ingrained in their mind. And the more consistent it is, the less confusion there is in their mind. They'll know exactly who you are 
and they know that you're dedicated to your brand and that you say what you mean and you mean what you say and that's going to build credibility in your marketplace. So there you have it. There's, you know, obviously uh, a lot to those three steps and uh, there's tons of agencies out there that can help you. Of course, ours is one of them. Um, I got a link below uh, with an email address if you want to bounce some questions off of us or you want to schedule a meeting to, to maybe look at overhauling your brand or even just establishing one. Maybe, you know, you haven't really done much of that. You've kind of been relying on your broker's brand um, and if you want to branch out, we're happy to help. Have a great day, guys.